Hello and welcome to another NJ video. This time I got here another model to try, it's E40 laser model. Let's start with unboxing. I got this package from Europore House, so it packed in additional box. Inside we find smaller box with package like usual. On top we find manual and piece of air assist tube, laser model and accessories are stored into sponge and then vacuum sealed into strong and static bag. Box is quite full, so let's check what we got into E40 packet. We got here 2.5 meters of tube for air assist, 2x4mm, manual which show how to set focus and air assist for different models, clamp to mount any models on machine, two type of circuit board, one is simply with different type of input for some DIY projects, another with LED display which can control any model offline so we can turn on or off the laser, set its power and check the model temperature about 30 cm long cables, 2, 3 and 4 pins, tube coupling from 4 to 8 mm, tools and of course E40 laser model. E40 model is designed for cutting, same as A4640, but E40 got better limitation of power so the power is more constant and won't go over 11 watt of optical power. Besides of that also cooling of diode is much better, so that model can handle long term of cutting. Because the laser is quite equal to A4640, I will make some kind of compare in this video. Let's start with weight. We can see that E40 is about 91 gram heavier than A4640. Housing is fully aluminium and it's quite same as on older models. It has same back for clamp mounting. It's same dimension but way longer. On top it's same size fan but next to it there's also an air assist tube with a coupling which lead to the metal nozzle over the lens on the bottom of laser. So we got air assist nozzle and still a red protective window which is fixed with two screws from the side. Now before a first try I'll check inside so I don't need to do that and lose your warranty. Ok here I have exploded A4640 and E40 laser model. I didn't dig deeper because from there things are very precisely glued together so the model can be destroyed in a moment. We can see it's quite equal, there's a bit different laser driver PCB, E40 driver got dual connector but one is just for additional power supply. Fan is completely same, but the biggest difference is in its core. Boot lasers got dual diode, but on E40 core is almost double size, so cooling of diode should be much better. On A4640 lens is completely removable, so you can see direct into diodes and the prism, while on E40 there is glued brass treated part with the lens into core, but on that part come another aluminium piece with protection glass, and over that part is an air assist nozzle. So if you use oil compressor for air assist, which isn't recommended, Oil can't reach the lens, because protective glass which can be replaced will stop them. If you can set a bit of focus on A4640 model, on E40 is completely fixed. Even bigger difference is in its housing. A4640 got a single piece of heatsink as a housing, and the core is screwed only from front side, while E40 has additional heatsink out of raw aluminium, which transfer heat better than an anodized housing, and it's screwed from both sides, so the contact is way better and the heatsink transfer heat also to its housing, which also works as a heatsink. Another improvement they make on that model is grounding, so they add a piece of wire between negative wire and housing, which prevent interference issue. Now assemble back both laser models and try to plug it for the first time. To power E40 laser model we need at least 4 amp 12 volts power supply, so I plug both laser models to an offline controller board. On both set its power to 100% and just a few moments later I check the temperature. A4640 is already on 35 degrees Celsius, while E40 is still on 29 degrees. But when I do that test I quickly notice the difference in its focus. After all the tests I make I always notice how important the focus is on that laser for cutting. Specification says that focus point on E40 is 0.06 by 0.06 mm, while on A4640 is 0.04 by 0.06 mm, which is smaller, but as we can see here spot is much smaller and better focused than A4640 model. Boot lasers here are on 40 cm distance, and I think perfect square point on A4640 is much better, but we'll see if that's true on real cutting tests. On both models fan are temperature controlled, and after this short test I noticed that fan on A40 are turned off, which confirmed that cooling is much better on A40 model. Let's make some tests now. I prepare my AJ Max and mount on the A40 model. Clamping system is same, but because of long housing we got wider range of focus settings. 
When the model is clamped, all I need to do is to plug the cable and air assist tube to a coupling. Then set the focus. Manual says that the focal distance for E40 is 3 to 5 mm from wood surface to model housing. Firstly, I try to make some engrave. It does the job ok, but as always before, a result of grayscale engrave are much better with low power lasers, like 3.5 watt. But the E40 is suitable for cutting, so let's try to cut some wood. Firstly, I try to cut 3 mm soft plywood with settings 100% laser power, 5 mm per setting cutting speed and air assist on. It cut nicely in a single pass, so I try with same settings, just speed up to 10 mm per second. It cut through, but there were still some points hold the piece together. Then I changed the model to A4640, which make a perfect cut also with 10 mm per second speed. Boot models cut 5 mm plywood in 3 passes with 5 mm per second speed and 100% laser power. So I try to cut about 12 mm thick spruce wood. Firstly with A4640, start with 2 passes and then continue with 3, 4, 5 passes until it cut through. And then replace the model to A40 and cut with same settings 5 mm per second and 100% laser power. From top side we can see that E40 make really clean cut, but that's only because of air assist nozzle which blow air perpendicular to the wood, but it's not as effective as a thin tube which blow air with higher pressure from the side. But from the bottom we can notice that A4640 cut through in just 4 passes, while A40 need about 6 to 7 passes. I would say it's because of air assist nozzle which is not as effective so the dust stay into cutting line and the laser burn the dust with every pass and the result is visible on cutted parts which is very burned compared to the one cut it in 4 to 5 passes with A4640 model. Then I try the limit of A40 laser by trying to cut 20mm spruce wood. First I try with A4640 model by cutting with 100% laser power and 5mm per second speed, cut nicely in 10 passes. Then change the model and try to cut with A40. I make a few cuts with different focus height, higher air assist pressure and all the way up to 20 passes, but it didn't cut through. So I try to remove air assist nozzle and make improvised tube version which is more effective in cutting, but also this wasn't helped. Then I mount back on the A4640 model and cut a piece of wood in half so I can see how deep can cut E40 model. First few cuts was about 14 to 15 mm deep and the last two where I cut with tube air assist is about 16 mm deep. So air assist makes some difference, but I need to say that A4640 is still more powerful compared to E40 laser model. We saw that we got some losses in air assist nozzle, but I think the biggest loss of power is on its lens, since focus is not that sharp as on A4640 model, which got perfect square dot. Anyway, I think A40 is a great model if you're looking to cut wood up to 8, maybe 10 mm. Cooling is definitely much better because fan turn on after some time while cut with full power, and the power limitation is better, so the model is suitable for some serious cuts, maybe some small businesses, because it can handle long term of use on 100% power, and also lifetime of diode should be longer. But if you're looking for a hobby use to cut some wood here and there, I would recommend that A4640. It's a bit more expensive and power limitation isn't that good, so they advise to use A4640 and 90% power. But its lens is better, so it can cut a few millimeter deeper and also engrave into anodized aluminium and inox are much better, because of them we can also set super fine focus by screw the lens in. And with additional fan on A4640 also heat issue was fixed. So shortly A4640 is more powerful, but E40 is suitable for long term of work on full power like serial cuts. That's about it for today, Nature already released their 80 watt model with 4 laser diodes. I hope I can make a test of it, because it should be a game changer. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.